In this video, I'm going to work on the cutout for the, the uh, fairing. So this is the cutout knockout. So what I did is I took a piece of paper, laid it in here, got my drawing on this kind of a cardboardy piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is I want to find centers, top and bottom, left and right. So quickest way I can figure out to do it on a, a not square rectangle is to get me on a bendable template. So we have a re reasonable effect simile of this. So then to find four points, I'm going to fold it in half. That way I'm going to fold it in half this way. And this will give me four center points that I can put on here and take a marker, make a mark there, make a mark there, make a mark there. Make it work there. There we go. Now I have a locator. On to the fairing. Okay, now that we've got our four points on our card or our, our knockout, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that the manufacturer knows where dead center of this curve is here and they've got a hole there drilled for the windshield. So I'm going to assume that is right. And then I've, I've measured between here and here. I put little pencil marks on where the top of the curve comes up. And then I measured between that and I found my halfway mark, which is actually right here. So I know this way where I should have it. So I'm going to put a pencil mark here, pencil mark dead center there. I'm going to hold it, come up, have a look at it. Maybe do some slight adjustments to the angle of it. Now I like that. That's going to be good. So now that I have that, let me just take a pencil and trace around our cutout. Oh, voila. There's the place that we're going to cut out. It's good. So for my speakers, I chose black uh, Pal USA ones. They're uh, Model number PLMRS53BLs. Uh, These are the black, uh, black with the light. So <clears throat> the holes that come cut pre cut were dead right on with the uh, gasket that comes with the speaker. So what it is is I taped the speaker gasket to the hole, centered it as dead on as I could get it. 
and then I dry fit the speaker in the hole. And then what you end up with is you have a little bit of movement, left, right, top, bottom on that. <clears throat> so what I did is I came down as far as I could go and I made a mark right here. And then I went up as far as I could go and then I made a mark. And then for left and right, as far right as I can go, made a mark here, over here, made a mark here. And then I went in <clears throat> and I, oh, sorry, I took the speaker out and I halved the distance between the two marks with a pen. So I got my half marks there. And I put the speaker back in. <clears throat> set it up so that the speaker was dead center on those marks. There we go. And then because they have a logo on top, I tilted it and I figured out what I thought was the best look to where those uh, pile logos were going to be. And I determined where I thought I liked them the best. And I did it for both sides. I set them both sides up at the same time. So then once I determined that, then I took my pencil and I marked my four screw holes, pop the speaker out, and there's my locating holes, and then I just uh, drilled them with a small drill bit just to lock them in, and I knew where they are. So then I can now take that gasket off, and I'll have my locating holes for my, for my speakers. So these speakers also came with uh, screws, because they're meant to be going in a boat, and a boat has a fairly thick, um, fairly thick um, wood backing behind the fiberglass. So that's why uh, they ship them with these screws. But I'm not going to use the screws. I'm going to use some stainless steel bolts, which I have to source yet. I know where I'm going, but I have to source them yet. So once I have the uh, the bolts. Uh, I can drill the proper size hole and install the speakers and I'm good to go. So the next part will be uh, cutting out the hole for the, the radio itself. <clears throat>